What is going on everybody, welcome back to EU4 as France, we are playing in the extended timeline mod, it's currently 1891, last video, I think we did the most warring I've ever done, we took out Swit. well we helped take out Switzerland, everyone else jumped on the bandwagon, they released Sardinia though, and that was their big mistake, because I declared war on them, they were guaranteed by only Tuscany, which means I get to just fight Tuscany on my own, and for some reason, the game has decided to send stuff by boat to this province, so just, just ignore this, um, we will siege this province out soon though, which will, okay, maybe not, give us an advantage, and yeah, we're just going to basically try and break Tuscany's alliances, I can't take too much land, I imagine by the time we've finished with the war, I can probably take the province of Sardinia here, or at least like make them a vassal, because you know, at the moment it does look like I don't have that many friends in the game, and if it, you know what, it can keep using my boats to do stuff, if that's the way around it, then go ahead, do it, the province of Piedmont is taken, but we can't get over here, for now, which is annoying. You go that way. Uh, I might need to slow it down a bit here because it, it's getting a bit bit jittery. So there we go, let's do that. Yeah, and if they arrive over there, that would be good. Oh, Austria's given them access and they are all over there. I did not see that. Um, that's okay, we'll ignore it and I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, we are taking far more important stuff, right? Like, I don't know what their plan is there. They're not going to win. Okay, they might win. Um, probably going to have to go deal with that. Send these up, go kill them. Once we've got this sieged out and I'm ready to move, that is, I'm going to send 120,000 men that way. Are we still pretty dominant? Uh, they've, they've built up, but my I have 40,000 more cannons, which is, may or may not be the right way of doing things. The siege is over. That is not my siege. Okay, you come over here. We're going to go have to deal with these guys. There's 70,000 of them. Not like that's a lot or anything. But we have got 47% war score. Oh no, they are making some progress. Which is annoying. I just hope no one else declares war on me. That would that would suck. That, that local defence bonus might really help. Oh, if this would finish. If this siege would finish, it means I wouldn't have to send this one so far away. I can actually leave this one where it is. I want them to go siege that out. Okay, this siege is now over. Let's go up, see if we can catch them out. If we can, if we if they retreat too much, I, I don't want to leave this 40 stack exposed, to be honest. I'm going to send... Not going to do that. That would be bad. So, I guess not. Danish Australia. That is, that is brilliant. Danish Australia. Why did you have to go that way? Just stay there. Take that. Okay, just take that province. It looks like they are going to run away. I'll keep my eyes open. See what we can, if we can split them up, that'd be very nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to go take all this stuff back now. It's just a pain. Okay, can you go over here now? Okay, now they can go over there. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Um, are we gonna get a penalty if we battle them there? And let's go on siege that. You're not having that, Tuscany. Problem is they're gonna come down here now, and then these stacks are gonna have to fight them, and that's just not ideal either. Okay, well this is going to be job done. Ah, oh, the question is, do I send one each way, or do I just make sure that we kill this stack? That's the thing. I'm going to, you know what, I've got a plan. Got a plan for one of the first times ever. Let's see if it works. But for now, oh, 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 there we go. You may as well push forward. Okay, okay, we can't push past here, I see. Can't you get on the boats? I can, I think, send them on, like, the boat. They don't want to go on the boat. Okay, never mind, just stay there then. That's not worth worth the risk. Um, do I send these guys back? Like, as long as they stay there, I think it's okay, but we've driven these guys up to here. I mean, what if we just go straight for them? What are they going to do? Oh, they're actually going to go after me instead. Smart move. I'm going to stay here. Uh, okay, we attack them, but they took the penalty anyway, which is nice. A double penalty. If we could wipe them, that'd be great, but that's not going to happen, is it? That wasn't going to happen. Okay, now you guys get back down here just in case we need you. And I'm sure I can trust that 40 stack to look after itself. Don't think there's anyone big enough. Did Prussia just ally Naples? Is that what that is? Yes, it is. Okay, that's an issue, but it's it's not the end of the world. Um, Naples are no longer the problem. It's now Prussia. Prussia Tuscany are now the issue, not Naples. And if Austria would stop giving them military... They still have a 20 stack there. 
Okay, as soon as this is siege is finished, like that stack is done. Actually, do you want to ready? Let's try something little, little risky. Let's hope this works. Okay, let's go. Let's kill them while we get the chance. I think we should. Yep, we should. Oh, we took the penalty, but there we go. We wipe them, and that means I can get this siege done in peace. 66% war score now. Let's merge them all together again. There we go. That worked. That was a big win. And we don't have to worry about that army at all now. So that's very nice. My boats have got them blockaded in. Okay, this is taking a while. I'm going to send another 40 stack. And hope that doesn't... Not too much attrition. Manpower is still okay. We're about to unseige this, which will boost war score even higher. Gain 10 prestige, lose 1 stability. That's fine. We've got 3 stability right now. Not a problem. Oh, Austria, I'd really admire, appreciate you not giving them all this stuff for free, you know. Just As soon as I've unseaged this, I'm going to see if I can get Tuscany out. And see if I can... What, what, wait, let's just figure out what I want first. Tuscany, what, what are you going to give me? What are you going to give me? This is just... They are negotiating just for themselves. I would like you to annul your treaty with Austria and Bavaria and the United States. Please, that would be very nice. And actually, they're willing to do all of that. I might even just become a friend with them. I could release like a ton of people. <sighs> Urbino, no. Oh, I don't have that much war score. Can I release any of these guys? That sucks. I could. If I didn't annul all those treaties, I could just like break them up. And that would be kind of interesting to see. I just want to see if it's possible. I could release Parma as one province. I could release Savoy. No, I couldn't. Okay, let's just... What do we want? I want... I don't want... Do I want trade power? I want war reps. And I want Austria, Bavaria, and the US to know... Okay, I don't care about... I do care about the US. I don't care so much about Bavaria. The US, because I'm allied to Bavaria. I'm sure it'll be fine. Give me all your money. Not just all. 1,000... They don't want to give me 1,000 ducats. What will... When's... I can hardly see. When's it going to turn green? There we go. They'll give me a hundred ducats. Well, that that's nice. That's nice of you guys. Well, I'm getting what I want, so I can't complain. That's that war over. That saves a lot of pain. And how on earth have they still... Oh, Sardinia got given it. I should probably wait for this to finish. Um, Maybe we could have gone after them a little bit more, but it's okay. We've made... Big progress. I wasn't expecting to make progress this quickly. Because we were quite strong at one point, And then I messed up and attacked Tuscany, I think. So, my fault entirely. And there we go. The Siege of Alsace is finished. Or Alsace. And now, poor old Sardinia. Give me the province of Navarra. And hopefully... Minus 12, minus 39. Okay, we avoided coalition. That is great. No, we're not going to adopt secularism. Let's make this a core. Excellent. Superior unit types. Would have been nice to know that in the war. The machine gun. Ooh. Some other new stuff as well there. Pretty cool. Uh, that is very inefficient. Please do not stand to this 120 stack again. That probably just killed more people than the whole war. Where are you going? Okay, you, you're now ending up in the same place. That that was bad. There we go. No, uh, okay, you're going. There we go. Now we all need to recover. These guys lost their general. I noticed he died at some point. Oh, no, I think I just hired two, didn't I? No? Maybe? No. Either way, ah, oh, we need to wait for our army stuff to recoup. Switzerland are gone. We took a bit of land. And Tuscany is now just allied to Bavaria. Who would still defend them, but that is less of an issue. Less of an issue now. Hmm. Naples would have been next, but that alliance with Prussia is a kick in the teeth, and they're allied to Bavaria. Or if I just said screw it and went... Okay, Bavaria would not be a good person to attack. That is the opposite of good. Prussia would be bad. Yes, yeah, so we just got to kind of wait right now. I can, I think, I can basically... The UK would be an interesting one. Obviously, I'd be fighting all their colonies, but the Dutch would join. And obviously, they're the only ones that matter. Also, Russia is not is not winning here. 
and Austria aren't even helping, like the which is bad for them. But um, yeah, Valakia are winning, and the Ottomans have done a lot of the work, but it's worked out for them. Well, I say that Russia is down here somewhere. Actually, is this Russia? Is this yeah? That is Russia down there. That maybe not so good. Maybe not so good after all. Spanish pretend the rebels. Okay, stop pretending. Just be real rebels or don't be rebels. Make your mind. All of these provinces were reformed. Are you serious? I pick. I pick great, great provinces to go after. Like, look, the one little batch of reformed in the entire world, and I chose to take all of it. <laughs> the other half of Switzerland apparently wasn't reformed. Not sure how that works out. And the Ottomans are no longer a great power. They're going to be angry. Brazil above them. At least we keep ourselves up there in fourth place with that, ahead of Austria, by quite some way. Problem is, Austria have the scariest alliances I've ever seen. Actually, they're not that scary anymore. What if I just declared war on Austria and went 1v1 them? Egypt, Russia, Bavaria, Brazil. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. But the Netherlands would join. The Netherlands just seem like they're very much up for a war. That That's kind of scary how up for a war they are. They'd probably fight anybody. Like, literally, I could probably declare war on the Netherlands, and they'd be like, yeah, let's join in. Oh, wait. Oh, that, that that's not good. Let's not join in. They they would definitely join a war against themselves. But like I said, I could attack Hanover. Um, the UK would join, but the Dutch would just basically grab all this stuff, and we're cool now, so I don't mind. And it would annoy Prussia. And then from there, we could just expand the Netherlands into Denmark. We could just spend the whole game expanding the Netherlands. How great would that be? Just... Fast. Oh my goodness. Okay, Greece is now putting in the hard work. Don't die, Greece. You are one of my allies. I think you're pretty cool down here, but you need to not die. Uh, I wanted to improve relations with people, I think. How many allies? Five out of ten diplomatic relations. Okay. I mean, we can always just be the best friend of everyone in Europe. Tuscany, I didn't mean to screw you over. I'm sorry. Naples. I mean, at least if one of them allies me, that makes everything just a weeny bit easier. The Ottomans... Yeah, why not? Those three. I doubt the Ottomans will want to be friends, but you never know. We don't like Austria, we don't like Russia, maybe we've got some stuff in common. And now I'm a little bit stronger than I was when I think they rejected me a little while back. Well, quite a bit stronger, to be fair, but I won't brag too much. Badenese separatists, two sets of Sardinian separatists, and some Swiss separatists. Got it. That will not be an issue. Poor little Switzerland. Swiss separatists, that's not going to be an issue. I'll send these down here so they can get to Sardinia quickly. I might even put them in Sardinia. Actually, that's a bad idea. Never know when this game will be brought crashing back to an end by one of my neighbours. So, we can only hope. I have no diplomats to send to Spain. They are losing a war somehow, and they've also got rebel problems. Although, they seem to have dealt with it. Let's make Navarra a core... Oh, okay, now the Ottomans are dead. Well, if Russia was going to lose... Austria, that's just mean. You're not even screwing over the Ottomans. Well, you are screwing over the Ottomans. But more importantly, you're screwing over Valachia. What have they ever done to you to deserve this? And yeah, Valachia, who are guaranteed by the Ottomans. And, I mean, they're not at war with Austria, which is nice. But the Ottomans are now up against that. And Austria called in Egypt. Rest in peace, Ottomans. Don't think they'll be on the map for much longer. Or... The they're definitely going to be shrunk. I know. It would be cool to see some nations get released and just like fighting to break out. But I imagine we'll just see Austria and Egypt getting even bigger. Uh, Tuscany actually hate me more than when I started. That is, that's that's an improvement. It was minus 198. It's now minus 200. Naples is improving pretty quickly and so is the Ottomans. But I don't really want to be their friend anymore. They do not look like they're going to be around for much longer. Spain... We're like, no, screw you, screw you. They didn't want to be my friend. Maybe they will now, just because I don't have Mexico or whoever it was they didn't like. I don't know. They didn't like somebody. Maybe we'll be able to do it now. I don't know. Hmm. What next? There is no small countries anymore for us to pick on. We just kind of, I think we just kind of need to wait to get called into a war and hope that like we're on a side with other big people as well. Like if Prussia, not Prussia, but I don't know, say someone, say the Netherlands defend somebody, then we get called in, and then Spain might get called in, or I don't know, however it'll work out. Hey Sweden, do you want to be friends? No. No diplomats, and they don't like me. Ah. Okay. Well, I'll try and fix that in the future. Russia did not destroy this small country. That's, that's nice of them. Prussia, stop insulting me. Seriously. 
This is this is gross. Who is this? That is Russia in Australia. At least Britain got all of New Zealand. At least that looks nice. Everything else is just a complete mess. Look at all this stuff. Oh, it's so gross. Japan has slowly been forming, and they look kind of actually forming. Did they did they start broken up? Am I confused? I swear. Yeah, I think they have grown a lot stronger. The United States is now supporting the independence of Kafiawa and declared war on Ottawa. By thought, does that not put the US? Oh no, they're only supporting. That might put the US at war with the UK in the future, unless I'm wrong. And I don't know who Kafiawa are. But that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.